So somebody's yard is just burning here beside the road. Nobody's home. I don't think anybody's home because I knocked on their door. So I'm turning this off. We have a burn ban in this area. And if it catches fire over there, there ain't no stopping this fire. Whew, it's hot. We're just lucky the wind is coming from the north instead of from the west. <coughs> or, I mean, yeah, the wind's coming from the south. Ah, it's hot. There, I think we got it under control. Firefighters. <laughs> got uh, probably about a half an acre burnt already. More than half an acre, I'm sure an acre. Uh, probably half an acre, not even. I live on two acres. So, we got some volunteer fire department here. We got me and guy and this uh, there's actually a black pipe here on the ground and that was already burning and that's a rubber I mean a plastic pipe so if that would have caught fire even more it would have it leads along back there to that grass and if that grass would have caught fire that tumbleweed back there would got a caught fire this whole world would have burned down we just saved the world and there's my brother's brand new pickup that I was talking box that's how much the pipe was already burned so that just kind of ruined a nice pipe there I don't know what they want to use it for anyway don't know who lives here this is my brother's brand new Chevy pick em up the one that broke down before it even got the dealer beautiful little truck Z71 Chevy now we need to take it out to the levee Texas edition. Gotta love the Texas man. Black interior, 20 inch rims. Does it got the Rancho shocks? It does. It's got some Rancho shocks on it already. Spare tire. Show me the inside. Woo! Got some water. That's also from the dealer for free. Got you some buttons here. You got your full drive because we're country boys. Got to have full drive. Nice Chevy sign. Black, black leather. Freaking rock and roll music. I don't know why it started playing music. Your truck's not on. You're gonna get copyrighted from your freaking. <laughs> Back to the fire. Um, it looks like it got started here. Well, maybe over there by the let's go check out that power line pole see if that's why it got started because it kind of looks to me like it got started by this road here and then creep creeped against wind slowly now this it would be wouldn't be enough to go against wind here it must have started from that corner there somehow must somebody must have dropped a cigarette or something. find the starting of it Find something all the way on the edge might be the cause of it. So I just cleaned out my floor mats and uh, everything that was in my truck and put it on this table. And uh, garage is still a mess cleaning up everything um, I took every little thing out of here 
There is nothing inside the doors. Oh, look at our papers. Yeah, I took every little single thing out. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And I hit a deer the other day with my truck. And uh, so this broke out of here and uh, broke out there. I hit the deer right there. That side is still fine. It's just this side broke in. So. I might take this off. It's pretty simple. You just got to remove this piece of plastic and uh, take out some screws that are underneath here. I think there's I think there's one, two, three, there's four screws holding that on and you can just push it out. I'm going to see if I can just push it out. And if not, then I'm going to have to put my uh, stock grill back on because I think it's going to be right, bad. I got them all loose. Um, you actually don't have to take these off. Just the outside too and uh, what you want to do is you just want to pull you want to put your fingers about right here on both sides and just pull outward and uh, it comes right off so let's see what happens put y'all here for a second All right, let's see what the damage is. Ugh. I don't know if it's bent or not. It almost looks as if it is. This screw just ripped right on out. So, I'm not sure. Let me check Do, it and uh, I'll push get back it back in. So looks pretty good and uh, so I'll probably just put this I'll probably just put this screw back in here and uh, I'm sure it'll hold out just fine I don't think it'll vibrate or anything it doesn't sound like it so I'll probably keep this grill on I like this uh, one better in there anyway. it's got those little notches that it goes into you can see it sliding right there right here Let's see if I can push it out that one just slides right on in there, like so. Just got to make sure that these are above here, and those are above there. And tighten your screws, and uh, it'll be fixed again. Won't even be able to tell. Looks brand new. A little bit of deer hair left on there. Funny story about that. I uh, called it in to the sheriff's department like you're supposed to do right away and uh they gave they called the game warden and gave him my number and so the game warden calls me and he's like um so are you gonna butcher it or should i so i was like you can butcher it because i didn't know you could butcher them i always thought that was highly illegal to butcher crane i mean uh deer so I went back, picked it up, butchered it, and now we have a full cooler, full cooler of meat. So yeah, I gotta cut up, cut that up a little bit yet. Um, it's probably about 35 pounds of meat, so it's pretty awesome. And it was a young, very young buck, probably about eight months old. That's what I was thinking, and uh, didn't even have horns yet, just a little stubs where it was about to come out the horns about to come out so i'm gonna tighten this back up start vacuuming the inside and uh next day a couple of days later whenever um it's a nice cold morning as you can probably tell and uh now it's not because i'm vaping it's actually Pretty, pretty chilly this morning and uh, I clean my truck from the inside look at that it's so clean in here letting it warm up
out a uh, new peach flavor. There was a lot of clouds. Y'all witnessed it here first. It's about as calm as it can get in Texas right now. Look at that. Look how calm it is in Texas. It doesn't do a growling. I took the hubcaps off because I got some new coil springs and some new shocks I'm going to put on it. Puffing out little smokes. This is a Slant 6. And, uh, oh, I love that stance that this little truck has. I drove that truck the other day. And, uh, let's do a cold start on my motorcycle right quick. Wow, it's sure it's bright on the camera compared to what it really is. I kind of rigged this up uh, by myself. I redid all the wiring. I made it look all clean and stuff over here, but back here I still gotta clean it up. Flip that switch on for power. Let's see if this sucker will crank up. Oh, I got it first. Already wanted to go, did you hear that? First turn my gas on. <clears throat> still but yeah he's a little cold but and we have arrived at the stockyards little bit busy today how convenient there's a meat market right <laughs> across the street well it's actually on the same yard you know what, you know what? fresh meat right there you see that chevy there it's probably loaded down with as much weight as it can handle right there well my day has come to an end um it's, it's around six o'clock we just got back from the cattle auction we brought a couple of uh, i think it was like five or six Something like that, steers over there. Uh, we still got some steers at the house. They're just a little young to sell yet, and we're gonna keep some to butcher for ourselves. So, that's probably where I'll end the video. Um, we haven't been able to do much on the field because of the wind, um, and also we haven't gotten a rain in over, in over 100 days, so it's, <laughs> it's pretty dry out here. I think it's around 100 days anyways that we haven't gotten rain so it's pretty dry out here um, so we can't we don't really want to mess with the land too much because um, it'll start blowing on you and uh, I watered my wheat uh, last week as you saw and uh, this week I didn't water because it was still nice and wet because um, the wheat is so small it doesn't use a whole lot of water yet so uh, thanks for watching this video guys and um, I'll see you next time.